In this video, we demonstrate heap method of aerobic composting. Heap method is efficient, economical and easy to manage. Simple layout drawing for the shed. We need a covered area or shed with cross ventilation as this is aerobic composting. Strong concrete floor is a must to avoid rat and mouse entry from bottom and a roof is a must to avoid rain. Side walls should be 1 foot cement and the rest 9 feet mesh wall which allows air circulation and avoids entry of rodents. The concrete floor has slope on either side so that the excess leachate will go into the canal on either side of the wall. The advantage of heap composting is that more kitchen waste can be processed in the same area as compared to tank method. Each heap can be 4 to 5 feet width and maximum 3 to 4 feet height and the length can be 10 feet or even more depending on the shed length. It's always better to include 8 to 10 large vermicomposting tanks so that semi-composted material can be fed to the earthworms. Since vermicompost is in demand, it will fetch more better value than aerobic compost. Feed the semi-compost to earthworms to create vermicompost. A good water connection, electricity connection is a must. Electricity is for a chopper or a shredder machine. The secret to success is well segregated kitchen waste from source because secondary segregation is tedious and time consuming. If we are processing 5 tons or more, it is important to plan the infrastructure to allow easy movement of smaller vehicle JCB or Robocat. During household kitchen collection, it is very important to collect all the dry leaves and garden cuttings too. We can also collect all the market waste along with the household kitchen waste. An efficient chopper with good electricity connection at the entrance helps in chopping a mixture of kitchen waste and dry leaves. Heaps of chopped kitchen waste and dry leaves have to be turned twice a week to aerate and maintain moisture. It takes around 45 days for each heap to become semi-compost. Another 45 days to become fully mature compost. We keep merging heaps as it matures and here we see moist full mature black gold that smells just like soil. Let us see the composting process. There are two types of chopper, medium speed rotating jaw type or high speed blade with a conveyor belt attached. Though chopping or shredding is not mandatory, but it reduces the particle size and the particle size is smaller, microbes will have more area to work on and composting will be faster. Chopper mixes dry leaves and kitchen waste very well and also results in fluffy, well aerated compost pile that breathes well. A conveyor belt helps to evenly distribute the wet waste whether it is kitchen waste or leaves. Conveyor belt also helps us to identify any metal pieces or stones to pick them without getting into the machine. A trolley will help move the shredded material to create a heap of 4 feet width into 3 feet height into 15 feet length. Another type of chopper uses high speed blade. Faster speed can help complete the work in short duration. A good set of tools and plastic tubs help manage this activity rakes, tubs, jute sacks to cover the heaps. Having two to four workers to work in parallel 
to process 3000 kg or 3 tons of kitchen waste efficiently and in about 4 to 6 hours prepare cow dung slurry or waste decomposer liquid or microbes powder or microbial cocoa pit create a heap of crushed material 5 feet in width 3 feet in height and length can be 10 feet or more sprinkle diluted native cow dung slurry it has good microbes that can accelerate the process of composting you can also use microbial powder or cocoa pit cover it with jute sacks and keep it moist covering with jute sacks also avoid flies or fruit flies allow high heat thermophilic stage to complete and low temperature mesophilic stage to set in turn the heap manually or using a machine to maintain moisture and aerate the compost pile this will avoid smell sprinkle water if required to keep the compost pile moist not too wet nor too dry after 45 days either combine the heaps or shift the material into vermi composting tanks for earthworms to work on harvest manure or vermi compost or beautiful black gold finally this compost should reach farmers agricultural field to grow safe food farmers have the option to take semi composted material at lower price and mature it further at their farm and use it farmer can buy mature compost or vermi compost in their own vehicle using their own sacks to reduce cost in either case we suggest farmers to create a heap of the compost purchased and further cure it for a month and then use it it's a choice that farmers can also enrich this compost further with cow dung manure or horse dung manure bio fertilizers and oil seed cake powders by feeding the compost to soil we complete an important circle what came from soil goes back to soil as that is where it belongs to fully mature compost helps build healthy soil which can retain moisture it can help us grow safe food we thank municipal corporation of siddipet for their support and vision in setting up this wonderful program thank you for watching the video